Too many salespeople quit. I'm Ed Marsh, and I want to unpack the reality of this harsh truth. I'll tell you up front, this isn't a David Goggins or Jocko Willink motivational video, although for sure mental toughness, grit, determination, and a refusal to give up are critical to sales. That's part of what I discussed recently with former Army Special Forces Sergeant Major Sean Hurd in a video that I'll link below in comments. It's also not a Napoleon Hill three feet from gold story that says just keep doing the right things and you're almost there really close to achieving great success. Although, of course, that may be true too. Instead, I want to talk about what kills deals and it kills them in a really frustrating way because reps are doing exactly what they've been trained to do. So this simple change will significantly improve your outcomes. Here's what I mean. Too many sales reps quit once they uncover pain. They get happy years. They hear the prospect describe a problem that they know they can help solve and they assume, and of course, here's the key term, they assume that the prospect wants to change. So they're going along, doing their discovery, asking questions, and boom, suddenly there's pain or some problem. And whether they realize it or not, the reps check out and start thinking about their solution. They pivot and stop digging. They've been trained to find pain, and now they have, and so they're thinking about what to sell and how to close the deal. The problem is that nobody spends money or undergoes the risk of a purchase or the disruption of change in order to just solve pain. Instead, people ignore pain. So when salespeople quit once they've uncovered pain, in most cases, buyers will engage, they'll act interested, they'll be polite, and then they'll ignore and stop answering. So here's the solution. Instead of quitting, the questions and discovery, when you discover pain, you need to double down. Because now you know where to look. You need to start to ask questions about what's causing it. The real root causes. What it costs them personally and professionally. What opportunity they're missing. What will happen if they don't fix it. What they've tried. Why that might not have worked. What they've heard about people who tried to fix similar problems in the past. What problems are competing as priorities for their time and attention and more. You have to help them understand and articulate their compelling reason to buy. Then you have to confirm their agreement that they're committed to change that they believe you can help them and that they're willing to pay you for that help. At that point, you have an opportunity to discuss how you can help them. Until that point, you don't. So here's the point. Don't be a sales quitter. Neither the kind that just half-asses it and doesn't do the hard work because you're mentally weak, nor the kind that's far more common, which is somebody who gives up when they uncover a prospect's problem or pain without developing it adequately to turn it into a saleable situation. If you're a sales manager or a VP of sales, the question for you is how to consistently hire people with the grit, drive, and motivation so they don't quit, and how to find people with the tactical sales skills to reach decision makers and uncover compelling reasons to buy. The answer is sales candidate assessments, and I'll put a link below for you to try a free sample.